when it comes to good or bad uh, product backlog refinement, the first thought that comes to my head is the, about the outcome and overall feelings, satisfaction level uh, when it comes to our Scrum team. So if I could give you some examples of bad backlog refinement. So long sessions that make people exhausted, tired, and they are lacking a motivation like, oh no, next refinement session. This is the first sign that something could be potentially improved. The other example of a bad, uh, bad product backlog refinement session uh, is the session that gives no, uh, no outcomes, no positive results. So you spend some time, you invested the time of the team and you have no, no answers. It's okay, and I would say it might be a great, great, great uh, outcome if you realize that you want to change direction based on your refinement session. But if you just talk and you have a feeling like, oh my God, it's like talking one to another and having no tangible, valuable outcomes of that session, here is another point that I recommend uh, you, you, should, you should avoid. The other example, uh, over-investment in refinement. So time is continuous in life, exactly the same as in Scrum. So if you spend a lot of your time on refining items, polishing them so much, um, analyzing very deeply, you are actually taking some of your time that could be spent on creating valuable product increment during that sprint. So if you invest too much, uh, you will give too many details. Uh, it may end up with two things. First, things will change. We are in the complex environment that is difficult to plan, that is difficult to, it's difficult to predict everything. And at the same time, you are investing time in something that is about the potential future. You have, you have less time for building your product, for creating a product increment in this current sprint that is happening. So what about good, pro, uh, good product backlog refinements? How you can recognize that uh, that is bringing value to your product work. So first, people feel that those meetings, those activities bring value. So they feel like, hey, this is helping us to become a better team. You can pretty easily check that with just creating a short survey. Hey, was it worth to spend this time together? And by the way, that might be also a great idea to look for improvement. Just ask yourself, how do you feel after that session? If the answer is, that was a great session. I understood our, uh, our future better. Now I feel better prepared for upcoming sprint. Here you go. This is something that you want to hear. To avoid very long meetings, sitting together for, for many hours, you can also practice different tools. Um, and if people are unhappy with long sessions where they don't uh, bring value, you can, you can, for instance, do it in asynchronous way, majority of activities, and then meeting just to share uh, what are our findings. You can also make uh, a certain rules clear, like for instance, two, uh, two feet rule. When I feel I don't bring value, I'm leaving the meeting and everyone, everyone understands that. So if you have such rules, if you, if you practice, experiment it with your backlog refinement activities and people are happy with those, uh, those uh, results, here you go. That might be another great sign. And last but not least, it is related to, to the goal, the value that we expect uh, we will benefit from, from the refinement. 
Obviously, your product backlog is prepared. What does it mean? Most likely on the top of that, after refinement activities, there is enough, uh, enough uh, PBIs uh, that are understood enough, uh, they are uh, deemed ready, and the team feels uh, prepared enough for, for upcoming sprint. They feel uh, confident enough that the sprint can be started in the near future.